away from the fun, but it's got too dark. So, um, I'll bring it back a little bit. This is, this is true. Uh, my dad recently had an operation. He couldn't be here tonight because he's still recovering. Uh, not really. He just, he just didn't feel like coming. But, um, <laughs> no, but he had an operation, and it was, uh, it's a colonoscopy like thing that he had. And, uh, he had to go to the doctor's office to get it. And he wanted me to go with him. Uh, and I asked him, well, why can't mom go with you? And he's like, well, Lawson, this is a man's thing. <laughs> How is it, Dad? How, like, what is manly about, like, sitting in an AC room and then going and having, like, a doctor put something in your ass? Like, I don't understand what's, what's manly about that. Like, he actually, like, oh, we're going to go to the forest and wrestle a bear with a fair hand and then take it and drag it back and then feed it to the, to the, the sister and your mom. And it's just yeah, it's a man's thing. Look what we did. Well, like, we're, we're going to the strip club and get, like, $20 lap bands. Like, oh, don't tell Bryce and Mom about this. This is a man thing, all right? <laughs> <laughs> how, like, <laughs> Actually, you know, he did have a reason uh, that he didn't want my mom to go, to be fair. He, uh, he did some research, I guess, on this place, and he found out that a bunch of the people who were going there uh, which, uh, were men who were getting Viagra. So he didn't feel like it was appropriate for my mom to be around. Because I guess that's what guys do, right? When they get Viagra, they just, they take it right there in the doctor's office. <laughs> and then they say, oh, look, a female! And they just run with the razor. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how it rolled up. <laughs> and you see my dad's screen roll up there, they're all fucking logical, yeah. <laughs> like, this is what, what do you think, like, oh, what, is my mom going to, like, cheat on my dad with one of these sexy Viagra-taking dudes? <laughs> Oh yeah, you know, I could you still know, stay in a marriage. Well, I'm going to ruin my marriage because i got to blow one of these guys around a dumpster or something. <laughs> Alright. That's about as dirty as we're going to get tonight. Maybe a couple more. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. You know, by the way, can you think of an unsexier place than a doctor's office? Like, especially to pick up, like, chicks. Like, like all the girls who are there either have diseases or they're with guys who have diseases. Like, it's not... It's not Uh, if you have to go to the police station for any reason, 
just set your ringtone to fuck the police, and then walk in and have people call you periodically. Uh, this is what this is really practical joke as much as it is, you know, being selfish. But uh, I like to wear casts to baseball games. Because it really guilt the players into giving you their signature. Like, there'll be like a five year old kid next to you with a ball, but you'll sit there like, no, see, I got this in the war! And then, like, you know, like, okay, kid, they signed your arm. You know, they see all your French signatures there, they'll sign it anyway. Alright, um. So. Oh, yeah, you know what I, I think it must be really difficult to do? Uh, interview and admission. I think that's got to be really tough because you got to interview with like a midget, right? But you don't want to demean them, right? It's like, what do you do? Like, oh, uh, how do you feel about Barack Obama? Oh, it's very interesting. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, that's sort of demean a crowd down like that. But you can't just do this. You're like, so how do you feel about Barack Obama? <laughs> Thanks. 